another question that students generally ask is how many problems should I solve to be able to crack the top tech companies out there. See, it's not about the number of problems. It's also about the quality of problems. In general, a mix of easy, medium, hard, totaling up to up to 500 problems is good enough. The distribution can look like this. It can be 100 easy, 300 medium, and 100 hard. Generally, most of the companies focus on problems between medium to hard, less on hard and more on medium. Another question that comes my way is, is it really required to be good at competitive programming to crack a 20 LPA plus job? So this is what it is, guys. If you are good in competitive programming, it means you are good in problem solving skills. It means when these companies ask you questions based on DSA, you'll be able to answer. But that does not really mean that you have to do only competitive programming. You can also do interview preparation separately, where you simply focus on interview related coding problems from every topic which can be bit manipulation, backtracking, searching, sorting, hashing, stacks, queues, linked list trees and DPN graph. You can also prepare problems from these topics from interview perspective. That being said, if you are doing well in competitive programming, there is a high chance that you'll end up doing well in interviews as well.